in this video we will discuss about virus like particles so what we will cover in this video we will cover some of the applications of the virus like particles that are covered in the left side panel and what are the different kinds of virus like particles uh, based on the envelope based on their classification of uh, envelope vlps and non envelope vlps so uh, let us first understand uh, uh, in brief how these vlps can be used to produce vaccine so and what is the uh, procedure that can be followed so first one uh, in order to produce vaccine they need to have the structure the uh, viral structure of the protein against which uh, uh, against which against that uh, which the vlps need to be made so that uh, viral structure of the proteins need to be uh, acquired or those information uh, needs to be available for the production of vlps and the second step is the expression of this viral protein and one of the things uh, one of the ways by which uh, people express the viral proteins is use the uh, cell machinery or use the any cell system which can uh, produce viral protein uh, by trans transduction or transfection to the cells next one is the self assembly self assembly is the uh, point where we need to select appropriate uh, cell system that can uh, self assembles this viral structure and now we can get a vlp that is functional and the next step after production is the purification of vlps so there are different three steps by which purification can be carried out first one is the clarification then the purification and the policing you can consider it as a three step purification primary purification secondary purification tertiary purification we will not go into details about this purification of vlps because it depends on vlps to vlps and every vlps has a separate purification step and next this purified vlps can then uh, now be Uh, tested or formulated whether uh, they are they are appropriate uh, to be used in the to be used to the patient used against the patient uh, that are infected this is how the production purification and formulation of vlps in brief carried out and one of the application is the produce Uh, the recombinant glycoprotein with the help of vlps so what is the uh, process is that they made a plasmid of the target gene and then transfect them into the appropriate uh, cell system thereafter if it's a post translation uh, modification is important then the prokaryote system might not be a good idea Uh, pro uh, selecting a prokaryote for a uh, post translation modi uh, modification modified or uh, let's rephrase this system selecting a prokaryote system for a target gene that produce post translation that involves post translation modification for its uh, function is not a good idea so for post translation modification is important we need to use a system where Uh, post translation modification resembles to the human post translation modification so that there will be less immunogenic reaction so and the next step is the vlps that uh, similarly vlps can be used to target against cancer in this case the target gene is the uh, tumor antigen so when they are injected into the cells it will be taken up by the dendritic cells antigen will be taken up by the dendritic cells and then it will activate the immune system that can target the actual tumor that are present within the body and one of the latest possible example is that vlp can be used to target the infectious disease such as sars cov 2 so this sars cov 2 vlp uh, can be uh, uh, in, can be injected into the patient and then uh, since uh, this vlps will be able to Uh, or uh, vlps will help the antibodies to generate 
of VLPs will help the immune system of the body to generate antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 that can this, that antibodies can target the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus that are you know, against which the, who, the patient is infected. Uh, this is some of the examples of how VLPs can be produced and used uh, for uh, different purposes. So, and there are two kinds of VLPs based on their envelope. First one is the envelope VLPs, and second one is the non-envelope VLPs. So, non-envelope VSPs. Uh, in which the single layer is present, they can come. They can contain uh, either single glycoprotein or double glycoprotein. And the single glycoprotein uh, non-enveloped BLPs are easy to produce. In this, they can uh, secrete the protein or desired uh, gene within the cells and then purify it uh, to get the uh, to get their native structure. Whereas when it's a two or three glycoprotein, uh, it is difficult to uh, form the VLPs. And uh, in uh, non-envelope VLPs, when there are two glycoprotein, it can either form a single envelope or multiple or a double envelope. Whereas if there is a multiple or more than two glycoproteins in the VLPs, then it can form either two envelope or Trip. It can either form two layer, uh, not envelope. Uh, non-envelope VLPs, it's the layer. It can form either two layer or three layer. If there are more than uh, more than three glycoproteins in the non-envelope VLPs, then it can form uh, either three layer or either three layer or two layer. Whereas for the envelope proteins. They are usually uh, produced within the cells by using the cell system, as and the assembly uh, of this protein is also carried out within the using the cell system. Whereas assembly of these non-envelope VLPs can be carried out outside the cell system. In this case, also when there is one uh, glycoprotein or two glycoprotein or three glycoprotein, they can form uh, within the uh, they can form a single layer. Whereas, uh, but for the case where there is two glycoprotein or more than three glycoprotein, then they can also form a double layer. So, some of the viruses that exist in the nature are, have either envelope, and some of the viruses does not have envelope. In case of the envelope VLPs, the envelope uh, is consisting of the cells, uh, lipids uh, of the cells in which it is been produced so i hope you have understood some idea about these virus like particles if you need to understand these virus particles in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time